Optifine just came out for Minecraft 1.21.8. We're going to show you how to get it. First things first, you're going to need to download Optifine, and all the links in this video are in the description down below. But if you don't want to go here and click download to go to the Optifine download page, that's what links below. You can also go to Google and go to Optifine download, and then you'll be able to get to the Optifine download page here as well. Now, I do want to mention at the time of recording, Optifine's still in beta. It's in preview, basically. It's not available with all the features. One of those features that's missing is shaders. So if you want to get shaders, be sure to subscribe to the channel and if this video does help you out give it a thumbs up because we will post a video as soon as Optifine does support shaders but at the time of recording it doesn't. Nevertheless on the Optifine download page we want to click preview versions here and then we want to find the most recent preview version. By the way if there is a version under preview versions like this like you don't have to click this plus there's a version here that's what you want to go with because Optifine's released it's no longer in beta but we want to go with this one right here this most recent preview version and click on mirror. That will take you to this specific download page for that version where all you've got to do is click download and after a few seconds the download will begin. You may need to keep or save the file here right like so. It's 100% safe to do that as long as Optifine is in the title. And while Optifine is downloading, how about a message from our Minecraft hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize your server any way that you want. There's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So don't struggle to host a Minecraft server. Start your server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown does XYZ says SGH. Nevertheless, with this file downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. We want to find the Optifine file. Most likely, that's going to be in your downloads folder, which we can find here. And there it is. Now, you should be able to go ahead and right click on Optifine, click open with and Java. But if you don't have Java here, what you need to do is get Java from the description or just go download Java 21. This is an in depth guide on getting it for Minecraft mods like Optifine. You may also need to run something called the jar fix, and this will just take the jar files on your computer like Optifine and link them to Java. But if if you don't have Java, you need to get Java 21. However, we can now go ahead and right click on Optifine, click on open with, click Java, and this will open up where all you got to do is click install and it will install Optifine for Minecraft. It's now done. Click OK. We'll close out of that and we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Once we're in the Minecraft launcher, there will be an installations tab up here at the top. I recommend going ahead and clicking on that and then finding the Optifine installation. Right here it is, Optifine, and then we can see 1.21.8. Go ahead and play Minecraft using this Optifine installation, and it will now open up with Optifine installed. It's that easy to get Optifine up and running. We can verify Optifine installed by going to Options and Video Settings, and we can see all of our different video settings here that you can set with Optifine. There's a Shaders button, and you can click on Shaders and try to activate Shaders, but it's not going to work. Like you get into single player or multiplayer, the Shaders won't work. So keep that in mind. If you enable Shaders here, it's still not going to work. So you might as well just kind of leave those set to off. But you can change all the other Optifine settings, including getting the performance benefit settings and things like that that Optifine offers. Nonetheless, enjoy Optifine, subscribe for more incredible content, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.